Table 21.1 below gives the standard electrode potentials for seven redox systems. You need to use this information to answer the questions below. A. Part 1. Outline an experimental setup that could be used in the laboratory to measure the standard cell potential of an electrochemical cell based on redox systems 4 and 5. In your answer, you should include details of the apparatus, solutions and the standard conditions required to measure this standard cell potential. The general setup for measuring a cell potential is you're going to have two beakers with two electrodes in. And these electrodes are going to be connected to a voltmeter. And then connecting the two beakers, you're going to have a salt bridge. So you need to label all of this in your diagram. And then the next part of the question is identifying what's in your beakers and what your electrodes are made out of. In order to identify what our electrodes are made of and what is in our two beakers, we need to take a closer look at redox systems four and five. So here's redox system four and here's redox system five. In redox system four, we're using a silver solid. So that's going to be what our electrode is made of. We're going to have silver, metal, and then in our redox system five, we don't have a solid produced or reacting. So our electrode is going to be made of platinum metal. Then we need to identify what's going to be in each beaker. In the beaker on the left, we're going to have one mole per decimeter cubed of silver one plus ions and they're aqueous and then in the beaker on the right we're going to have one mole per decimeter cubed of iron two plus ions and they're aqueous but we're also going to have one mole per decimeter cubed of iron three plus ions in aqueous solution so finally the last bit of the question is asking us to comment on the standard conditions required. And the standard conditions are going to be 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. In order to get the four marks for this question, you must have both cells or half cells correct. So that gets you a mark for each correct half cell. You must have a complete circuit with a voltmeter and salt bridge. That gets you a, your third mark. And then your fourth mark comes from correctly stating the standard conditions required. Part two, an electrochemical cell can be made based on redox systems two and four. The standard cell potential is plus 0.53 volts. State and explain the effect on the cell potential of this cell if the concentration of silver ions is increased. Looking at redox systems 2 and 4, so we have 2, there's no silver ions present, but in 4 we have silver ions present. And if we increase the concentration of the silver ions, the equilibrium is going to shift right and that's going to increase the electrode potential of redox system four. So we can then write our two billet points. Our first one is going to be that redox system four, or the silver, silver ion redox system, is gonna become more positive, that's our first bullet point. And this is gonna mean that the electrode potential of the cell is gonna become less positive, so the combined redox system two and four electrode potential. To get the two marks for this question, you get a mark for each of the bullet points that I've written. Part B, from table 21.1, predict the oxidizing agent or agents that will not oxidize Fe2 plus aqueous to Fe3 plus aqueous. So what we want is for Fe2 plus to be oxidized to Fe3 plus initially. So that means you're going to need an electrode potential that's greater than plus 0.77. So any of these cell potentials will shift the equilibrium to the left so that Fe2 plus will be oxidized to Fe3 plus. But the question is asking what will not oxidize. So that means that it's going to have to be 
anything with an electro cell potential lower than 0.77. So the answer is going to be zinc 2 plus and CE3 plus or cerium 3 plus. To get the mark for this question, you must write zinc 2 plus and cerium 3 plus. Both of these you need to write in order to get the mark. Part C. An aqueous solution of iron 2 bromide is mixed with an excess of acidified solution containing manganate 7 ions. Using table 21.1, give the formula of the products of any reactions that take place. The redox systems that are involved in this question are redox system 1, redox system 3 and redox system 5. What's happening is you're starting with iron 2 plus, bromine minus or bromide ions and manganate 7 ions. And so your products are going to be on the other side of the equilibrium. So they're going to be your manganate 2 plus, your water, bromine and Fe3 plus. To get the two marks for this question, you must have all four products.